Can we talk about the uh, major item that you were able to agree upon? For example, the uh, decision to ex expand the uh, membership of the BTC. Yeah, the directive from uh, our, our president, President Duterte, is that the process has to be inclusive. There has to be uh, participation in the, in, in, in the peace process. Uh, so now that we are in the implementing phase, uh, we decided that one of the ways in which uh, we can be very inclusive is to increase the number of uh, the members of the Bangsamoro Transition Commission, which is going to be tasked with um, drafting the, the enabling law that will be submitted to Congress. Sir, what about distribution? Uh, is it 10 and 11? Well, I cannot speak on the government side. But for the ML I, MILF? Uh, well, there is an increase, but uh, I have not uh, talked to my counterpart whether to disclose the exact number. Maybe <laughs> they, they will know it later, <laughs> better to disclose it now mm. with your concurrence. Yeah. So the, 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 the number is going to be increased as to how many. Uh, we, will, we, we will have to uh, wait for the, the joint statement that we are going to make. But suffice it to say that because we want greater, uh, greater participation, that uh, that we have decided, I mean, and, and the MILF has, has uh, also agreed that we will increase the number. Uh, as to how many, uh, that we'll have to wait until we, we, we have um, uh, the joint statement later. But was it a difficult decision in the first place on the part of the MILF to, well, to agree uh, to add more uh, well, members? Well, it's more or less a difficult situation because uh, okay. on the basis of signed document, it is stated that it's going to be 15. Eight coming from the MILF and seven coming from the government of the Philippines. But in the spirit of improvement and enhancement, it's not a violation of that agreement. So we agreed to, with government to increase the number of the commissioners of the BTC. But of course, the expanded BTC would still be chaired by the MILF. Mm -hmm. That's part of the agreement. Mm -hmm. It would be chaired by the MILF coming from the MILF. Yeah, and, they, and they will also still have the, the majority. Mm -hmm. But so, so we, we thank uh, the MILF uh, for being very open to, to you know, to enhancing the process, to making it more effective and more participatory. And I think they understand that because their, their whole uh, struggle <coughs> has, has really been <coughs> to give voice to, to, to them and to, to share uh, 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 the public space so that decisions are made in a more democratic manner. And so I, I think in that spirit, uh, the, the, we are very grateful to the MILF that they did uh, make that decision to increase the numbers. Um, in calling for inclusivity, have you decided that uh, kanino kukuha ang slots yung, for example, uh, representation to be made available, for example, sa MNLF? Would that come from the government? From the, gov the government, the government uh, uh, numbers uh, will include uh, uh, members from uh, IP communities, from uh, <coughs> LGUs, uh, from sultanates, uh, the MNLF, Right. And, and, and other and other groups. Uh, so that's not been de decided on, but that's just to show you where we're, uh, what we're thinking. How soon will the BTC convene? And chaka any deadline or time frame for them to produce a new draft? Mm -hmm. you, you want to? Well, there is an outstanding proposal that the BTC should uh, come up with uh, uh, a new Bangsamoro basic law within one year. Mm. And I think that's a good uh, timeline, and we can work on that. And yeah, so the, so the BGC will have to be up and running uh, very soon because, you know, uh, that, that, that process has to, so to get, uh, you know, you have to have a draft, then you have to send that to Congress, and, and we, we, we are hoping that it will be uh, passed in a year's time or even less than a year, you know, because uh, it's, and, and the, the good thing about the process now is that you have a, a president who has the political will uh, to make that happen and you have a Congress as you you've seen uh, both the Speaker of the House and the majority floor leader are, um, were here for, for the formal launch of the implementing phase so I think there's a lot of um, uh, the environment is such that we are hopeful that that 
uh, time timeline will be followed. Clarification lang, uh, one year for uh, the BTC to submit a draft to Congress. Mm -hmm. No. Pero hindi pa oh, kasama na ba rin It yung can be earlier. Mm -hmm. It can be earlier. To submit to Congress. Yeah, to Congress. Submission mm -hmm. lang. The sooner the better. To yes, better. No. Pero how about your target when it comes to the uh, ratification talaga? No kompleto na? Well, that's part of the process. It depends on how fast Congress can un act on it. Mm -hmm. Because it has to be passed. The BBL has to be passed by Congress before the ratification. So it depends on how fast Congress can do it. And of course, the possibility <coughs> of people to question it before the Supreme Court again. Uh, uh, we don't even want to think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, shoot ko lang, kasi yung ibang mga tao may hangover pa sa, you know, sa encounter. Paano yun, sir, moving forward? How are we going to deal with it? Alin, alin. Yung sa mga Well, uh, it's part of the whole uh, planning that we have a good uh, communication strategy. And we have yet to discuss that uh, together with our counterpart from government. We need really to come up with a very, very good and uh, uh, comprehensive uh, communication strategy. Who will chair the BTC for the It's uh, the, It would be coming from them. I mean, who from them? I don't know. Kayo pa rin ba? <laughs> Most likely, I would not share the BTC anymore. Mm -hmm. I have done my part. So you, you have delivered. And I, I think on my part, personally, it's already a fulfilling uh, uh, thing for me. But you, you, look, know, you look frustrated. Hmm? How come parang you sound frustrated? No, no, I'm not frustrated. We have delivered. We have come up with the BBL. We have so the many levels also. of engagement, so, and yeah. we have uh, rendered the, te the final report to the Office of the President. So as far as we are concerned, well, it did not pass Congress, but we have done our share of the responsibility. So now it's still up to the government now to deliver that political aspect of it. Mm, th uh, and, that is, and that is the intention, of course, is to, to deli deli deliver an enabling law that will be uh, compliant with the co Constitution, uh, compliant with all our laws. and. and and so that's why I'm very happy with the kind of engagement we're having with MLF. So how do we avoid the young Excuse me. Well, we have to process, And I think the partnership of well, it can be earlier because uh, much of the responsibility rests with Congress. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the only participation of the MLA is uh, through the BTC, and after that, it's all government responsibility. Of course, we continue to engage government through the BTC, but uh, the responsibility really is up to Congress to do that. Sir, thank you, Paul. Any other major agenda item that you were able to cover, please? I think it is. Uh, while we are also looking at the, the, the legislat legislative track. Uh, while, while we are looking at the, at the political track, which is the legislation of the, uh, of the BBL, uh, we were also looking at uh, the whole issue of uh, normalization, uh, which is, and, and, and previous to uh, our meeting today, there had already been some decisions about um, you know, uh, decommissioning. Uh, 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 what do we do with the camps? Some, some camps, not all. Uh, and so, uh, so we we have to have a, a more or less a holistic view of of the whole entire process. So it's not just really the the BBL, although that's very important. There are other parts of of the peace process that we have to attend to, and and that's part of. of Normalization. People have to get back to uh, to their normal lives, and 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 let's not forget that this is about people. Um, and um, because I come from Mindanao and the president comes from Mindanao, we are very very uh, cognizant of people's of what people are going through, uh, and so um, we we are while we we are focusing on 
the legislative track and making sure that there is a law because then we can move forward with, uh, with full implementation. Uh, we are also looking at what happens, what happens on the ground, what, what can be done with the, the people who have suffered enough. Sir, kung alimbawa, well, for some strange reason, no, only federalism, if ever, then... The banks of the government are you? More over right no, no, I, I would not like to think that kind of situation. <laughs> right now, the tracks uh, are two. Uh, the priority, as far as we are concerned, is the passage of the BBL. While at the same time, the government will push for the, the amendment of the Constitution to, to make the Philippines a federal state from a unitary presidential uh, government. So we are looking at the situation where in the BBL passes Congress ahead of the, 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 the effort to amend the Constitution. So it's a priority? It's a priority as far as uh, we are concerned. And I think that's the thinking of the President. In the campaign promise, and even in the SONA, he asked Congress to pass the BBL. Your level of confidence with the Duterte administration? Well, if you look at the statement of the President, the statement, especially uh, the acknowledgement of the historical injustices committed against the Moro people, I think that's very historical. That's a, he knows it. Yeah, yeah, it's a very important statement because, you know, man can know his uh, fail uh, failures because he has wisdom, but to admit them, to acknowledge them, it takes greatness to admit them. So admitting that there is really a historical injustice committed against the Moro people is something very historic, mm -hmm. momentous, it's a milestone. So and only the president now has the, has the gut to, to, to say that. After 17 years of negotiation. 17 years of negotiation. It's not just the 17 years of negotiation. Yeah, of including it's, the MLA, it's, more than 20 years. It's the 400 years of uh, you know, the, the colonial history, because <laughs> this is still part of our colonial history. Yeah. And, we, and, and, and we can only really see ourselves as, as, as one country, but you know, one state, but many nations. Mm -hmm. uh, we can only do that if we do the right thing uh, with the Bangsamoro people. Okay, thank you very much, Ron.